Hey, I'm George. Wait, so we're doing these uh, out of body experiences? Yes. You gotta save some stuff for the podcast. We need material, George. What? We need material. What's going on, everybody? I'm Josh. And I'm George. George, this is what? Uh, uh, shoot the breeze. It's shoot the breeze. And where are we at? Uh, it's also a couple days before Valentine's Day. Yeah, but Sweet. where are we at right now? What studio are we We in? are in Studio 34B. 34B. Whew. We come here a lot, George. We do. It's my favorite. It's, you know, if you can look on the other side, you got the drum set and keyboards, guitars. And the view of the mountains. It's a recording studio that... that uh, Don't forget the view of the mountains. The view of the mountains is good, too. Yes. So... It's my favorite. And, matter of fact, we're looking at a beautiful sunset right now. We are. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. See how the trees kind of go right through, they glow right through the sunset there? Oh, look at that bird. Yeah. Pretty bird there. Why is okay. it hanging upside down? Is he dead? I think so. Have you committed to <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Guys, we are doing a very special podcast today. It's actually going to be a video podcast, and it is on Instagram. I'm yes. sorry, not Instagram. YouTube. YouTube. But you know that because you're watching it on YouTube right, exactly. right now. And, George, we've talked about doing this for a while. Oh, I tell you what. It's something that for a long time I didn't. The only person I ever told this to was my wife. Yeah. And she always reassured me. Yeah. But <laughs> I, until Josh moved in here in town and his wife, I never talked to anybody else about it because I thought it was very weird. It's a very dark, weird kind of secret. It is. That is coming out today. It is. And, and I remember when we first met George and we talked about this, I said, you ever get that feeling? And you said, yes. Yes, I, I have it all the time. And so all then the time. We both knew we were both a little different. Yeah. Maybe it's like a special power. I don't know. Well, I, maybe it is a special power, but it's, it's certainly, we're, we're definitely different. We're and, different in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Josh's wife is different. The three of us are just different now. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I talked to my assistant today. She had no clue what I was talking about when I tried Camera to share street, it with her. George. Yeah, it is. And I was kind of concerned uh, that, you know, for a long time, that I was the only one that had this, that I had some type of mental disorder. <laughs> and maybe I still do. Maybe we all three of us do. We that one. <laughs> maybe, the, but there's got to be, you folks out there, you've got to be feeling the same thing. And... With that, I'm going to let Josh kind of explain what we're talking about. You know, that, away. well, I've looked into it a little bit. Now, there's a lot of different reasons, scientists and people that never, you know, don't know what they're talking about, I right. think. Right. Not the scientists, but, you know, just a lot of the folks. Mm -hmm. All these different reasons why and, and all that. But what we're talking about is, is kind of like deja vu. I guess it's a, a type of deja vu. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why aren't you wearing your glasses? Because when I wear my glasses in the video, oh, they shine. They shine. Okay. I don't like to shine. Okay. So anyway, I mean, I shine in a lot of ways, but yeah. I don't want my glasses to shine. Yeah, either. right. Okay. So, <laughs> carry on. So, I guess it's a form of deja vu. And uh, pretty much, it's like, has, you know, am I here right now? Like, is this real life? It's kind of how you feel. Like, you're just kind of floating above? Yes. What's almost going on like you're. Reality? you're you're out of your body, not necessarily watch looking at your body, but it's yeah. like you're you you feel like like right now I'm I'm feeling like I'm not really here, right? And I'm but I'm talking. You're talking. And and for years and years I would ask my wife I I would say, Am I really here? Am I here right now? <laughs> she would always assure me, Yes, George, you are. And that was like a big relief. Yeah. When she said, yes, you are, I'm like, yes. I'm still crazy, but I'm here. Yeah, and I've, I've ever asking, like, thinking to myself, I don't think I've ever asked anybody this because I don't want to get locked up. Right. Nutty house. Right, that's, that's, yes. You know, I'm like, am I the only one on earth right now? Like, it's, everything's happening while I'm here and up and about, but then as soon as I go to sleep, does the world just pause until I wake up? I <laughs> I thought that before. You ever thought that? No. Don't make me feel stupid. No, <laughs> I never thought that. You're making me feel no. Like that. I'm not. I just never thought that part of it. What I thought is that 
Am I really here? Sure it is. It's real life. Am, am, I, am I really here? And it's it's not, you don't feel that all the time. It's just certain times. It could happen once a day, twice a day. It could happen once a week. But the same yeah. with you? Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So I've looked into it a little bit, and they said people that get stressed a lot or have anxiety uh, can can also have those traits as well. Really? So yeah. Why is that though? I, what is brain. stress and anxiety trigger to make you feel that way? I know I play a doctor on TV, but I'm not one in real life. Well, I was hoping so, that you had done a little more research. Well, I didn't do much. Obviously. But we can get into that on our part two video of is this real life? Yes. Is this real life? One of my favorite subjects. Now, George, we're doing a video podcast. Yes. So, folks, if you don't know, we have a podcast. We do. And it's on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. It's called Shooting the Breeze, just like this channel. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, go check it out. Subscribe. We have, I think this will be episode 18. Now, we're not going to put this, obviously, on the the other the podcast right um but what we're trying to do is we have more listeners on our podcast so we're trying to get those listeners over here to see an Video. episode so trying to drag each other to have you guys check that out and have them check this out you right know, just trying to merge the two so they can both watch and listen yeah. and enjoy both well i like that idea and i'd like to do a little some more videos yeah uh so we'll see. Yeah. Some more taste testing and you know metal blindfolded detector, metal George. detector videos and the uh, weather's been horrible. Yeah, so. oh, it's just rain, 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 rain. Can't really metal detect a lot. No, we're going no. to. You're gonna get. Uh, you got one now, right? I do. It's yeah. not a fancy one, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money since I don't know what I'm doing yet. Yeah, but I'm sure you will once you know what you're doing. It's gonna be fun. Yes. It'll be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, George, do you have a time that you've kind of, kind of, can you remember a specific time in your life when you're like, is this real life right now? Well, uh, like I said, it just kind of comes out of the blue sometimes. And yeah. and you you just have that feeling that, uh, you know, I, it's so hard to describe. It's like, Am I really here? And then if you start questioning yourself enough, then it scares you. Yeah. Then you're yeah. like, Whoa, am I really here? Am I where am I? Have I am been I drinking really a lot or something? Yeah. I haven't been drinking when this happened. No, before. it doesn't so it doesn't alcohol's not a factor. And we're not taking psychedelic drugs. Either. There's no drugs or alcohol involved. <laughs> It's total psyche. Psyche. And and it's something that we just continue <laughs> to have over and over again, and we can't really explain it. Now, Josh goes to the internet, and it says that we have stress and issues like that. Well, it's, I think it's causing it. Part two of this, we'll get more into that side of it. Okay. I, think, I think today it's just more we're talking about, uh, talking about it yeah. and maybe some experiences with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's definitely a... a it's it's when it when it comes to you it, it's scary you know it it makes you wonder first and then you get a little worried about it yeah you know it actually kind of scares you it's like yeah yeah I, I, it's 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 almost like it's hard to describe unless you're really in it right now which i'm not are you no okay not yet so it could Not happen any happen. second, folks. It could happen before the... Well, you might see it right here on this video. Yeah, you might transform before your eyes. We'll that's, be off. And that's the good thing around. about video. You'll that's be right. able to see it happen as it happens live. And, um, you know, and it, it could happen. And it's not a... It's not a scary thing for other people because they don't notice anything. It's just you. <laughs> like, am that, I having a seizure? Right yeah, now? it's oh, you that's, that's having the issue, like... What am I doing? Let me ask you this. Have you ever, and this might be related to that, I remember specifically driving down Dorsey Lane, and and it's dark, yeah. and Mac and I are, you know, my daughter, she's in the front seat with me, and, and I'm concentrating, I'm either, I, I don't recall, I'm either concentrating heavily on what she's saying, or I'm thinking heavily on, like, something at work very heavily and then so concentrating on that that i'm almost unaware that i'm driving 
okay? I know I'm driving, but it's, it's you had the, and then all of a sudden you kind of snap like, where am I? Yeah. Where, <laughs> what am I doing right where, now? Where, yeah. where am I going? I mean, it was, it was <laughs> pitch black, yeah. you know, dark. And, yeah. and I'm like, where, where am I going? And, and so all of a sudden I realized, oh, I got to turn right up here. And, uh, but you know, it's such a level of, I guess maybe it's for people that have a higher level of concentration. We are so in it that yeah. everything else is, is, at least that's what I'm saying. Everything else is blocked out. And then when you get out, when you're still in that heavy level of concentration, it's almost like the outside world, you, you don't know what's going on. Well, one thing I read about it, and I know this is true for you and myself, is people that not only have ADD, but also are daydreamers, that sit in daydream, which is me, oh. every five seconds I'm thinking about something. Yeah. Yes. So I know that's both of us. And that, so that could be true. That could, that could really be something. Right. But... Right. You know, re I, I think just, what, a few days ago, I was driving to a client's house, and I know where I'm going, and I, I'm like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> like, where am I going? Right. What, where, you know, where am I at? Then I just snap into it. So. I know. I mean, you snap out of it, or you snap in it, then you snap back out of it, and it's, it's, it's a very odd, and again, we don't know if this is part of the same out-of-body condition, yeah. experience or what it is so but we'd like to hear from you all and let us know if you've had any of those kind of things yeah. or if it's just three of us or share some stories that yes. like hey this happened I love a year ago or however long yeah uh i'm sure we have a lot of stories about it i know i can think of one just last year we were at the daytona 500 or maybe I one year actually talking uh, oh okay two. he's interrupting me again you they can see it this time george not only can they usually hear it, they just saw it. Go ahead. Makes me sad. No. I have no feelings. Uh, I was at the Daytona 500 your last year. And uh, <laughs> you're just going to go on with the story. And, you? Yeah, because I'm tired of being <laughs> stepped on. I'm not, you're not being week. bullied. I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're a grown man. My feelings Stick matter. up for yourself. I am right now. I'm putting okay. my foot down. Go Keep go on right talking. Ahead. Do it then. We're at the Daytona 500 cars were going around the track and they were at the opposite side of the track and i just zone out and i'm thinking what where am i like what am, what am i doing what's going on and then all of yes, a sudden it that's zooms happened. By and i'm like oh that's sorry. happened yeah that's happened so again when you have more people that can relate to this you're not so concerned that it's only you george tell them about that car right there show them that car see this car folks this is a Ford Taurus, and I don't know where like I got 80s it from. Model. 80s model? 85? Uh, I would say maybe early 90s. Early 90s. Um, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, I can see okay. it. Oh, you asking them? Yeah. Is that all you want to know? Is... Yeah, I think it's a neat little thing. It's a neat little car. It's on my... It's in this uh, beautiful studio Where we, we call 34B. 34B is the place to be. That's right. And and it's one of my favorite things to look at. It's it's a it's a Ford Taurus. And for many many years, I drove a company car, Ford Taurus. I get a new Ford Taurus every year. And Ford Tauruses, they finally changed. You know, they were just they looked just like this for yeah. a lot of years, and then they made them sportier. Uh, and, and uh, you know, just sportier looking cars. And then at, at some point they got rid of them all together. And then Ford came out with a, another car and they called it a Taurus. What well, doesn't look anything like the old Ford Taurus. No. And I think they still sell those. But, you know, it's interesting because they're basically getting rid of all sedans uh, and going to SUVs. I don't know if you've heard that, folks, but it's all over the news. Check it out. Bam. Tell them. Yeah, I haven't heard that either. Yeah. So, you know what I saw? What? And I thought they got rid of them. Oh, no. First, I want to tell you the ugliest car I've ever SUVs had. and trucks. I left out trucks. They're going to SUVs and trucks. Go ahead, Chuck. Yeah. Uh, have you seen those Jeep cars? I mean, Jeep trucks. It's a Jeep, and then the back end is a truck. And it is uglier than snow. Really? Oh, it's ugly. Huh. 
You couldn't pay me. You couldn't. They couldn't give it to me for free to drive. Around. Where uh, you saw one around town here? Yeah. Huh. I've seen them several. Wow. Maybe I guess I just haven't noticed those. No, yeah, you won't forget it. They're ugly. I'm, Google. You can pull it up on your phone. And I'm see not it. a big. Uh, I mean, nothing wrong with Jeep. I've just never been a big Jeep person. Yeah. Never, never purchased a Jeep. Don't know a whole lot about Jeeps. I don't either. Yeah. All I know is they look. Everything's expensive to fix on them. From what I've heard, well, the tires are expensive. I mean, that's probably true. That's probably true. Yeah. So anyway, back to what we were saying. I I told you my story about NASCAR, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. That's that was it, huh? Well, I mean, there's thousands I could probably well, tell you. Well, the the problem that I have is I can't remember because that's another problem we have. Especially they with George. they happen <laughs> in. They don't happen. I mean, I remember that when I was driving down Dorsey, I told yeah. you that. But other instances that where I have that like out of out of body experience or whatever you want to call it, I don't. Uh, there's nothing significant going on, so that's why I don't remember. There's nothing really significant going. It just sticks out. And yeah, and it's not a really scary moment. It's just something that that's there and then you get busy again and it's gone it's gone like it just yeah. lasts like what 30 seconds or a yeah. minute or something like no that more it's than not, that yeah it's just like you know I mean, it's not that long but it's enough to, like what is this <laughs> why, why do i feel like i mean yeah i don't know can, can you get yourself to feel that way if I think about it hard, yeah. If I sit and I think about, okay, am I really here? Is this real life? <laughs> that sounds crazy. I know. <laughs> we sound like two nutbags over here, but it's true. And I can make myself feel that way. Yeah. But I gotta, I gotta talk into it. You know? Yeah. Then, but that's better than just. It's really confusing when you're in traffic or something, or you wake up. I've woke, I woke up the other night, and I'm like. Especially if I've traveled a lot, and yeah. then I wake up and I'm really confused, like where I'm at. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I think. Like, who's I, laying next to me? Oh, it's my wife. Yeah, thankfully. Oh. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, I can actually, uh, at times, talk myself into feeling that way. Yeah, I don't know why I would, but I think I can. I I can do that. I think I get a hint of it, and then I go a little deeper with it. I think, yeah, am I really here? Yeah. Am I am I really here? Am I really here? Are we here right now? We're here. We're here. Okay. I, I think. So that's it. <laughs> I know. They probably second guessing myself. <laughs> see if it was my wife, she goes, We're here. But with the, with the, the someone with the, the same issue as I have, I can't I don't know if he's telling we, me the we truth. We can both get we, we both might not be here. <laughs> we might not make it out of the room. If we're you. here, what do they need to do? How are they gonna notify us? What? The people out there. About what? If we're here, if they actually see oh. us on the video. Leave a comment below. Yeah. Down there. Right down there. Just comment leave a comment. Because we need to know. Yeah. I mean, it sounds weird, but we would like to know. <laughs> if you don't mind. Are we here? <laughs> We'd like or to does know. Does this happen to you? Yes. Or do you ever wake up and, and, and not know where you're at for a few seconds? And if you know what this condition is called, please let us know also. Yes. And you probably think it's odd. George. Also, the deja vu stuff. Like, this has happened before. Yes. Right? Okay, I know I've I know I've talked about this. Now, this doesn't happen as much as the other thing, but frequently it happens to me. And basically, it's like talk. I'm talking to someone, and as I'm talking to them, I, I'm thinking, I feel like this happened before. Yeah. Now that that really gets me. Like, are we looking in? In the, in the future, and, and, I don't know. And the limited research you've done on our other problem, yeah. you say it's related to deja vu. They say it's a part of deja vu, which is what I'm talking about right now. Right. So, I don't know. We promise we're not taking psychedelic drugs or anything. And so. we don't want to get into the, the science or the, the research behind deja vu at this point, do we? I think uh, another episode, another episode on our yeah. podcast. Yeah. So yeah. you have to go to our podcast, yeah. Shooting the Breeze, on Apple or Google Podcast, yeah. iTunes, and check it out. Yeah, we're gonna put that up probably next week. Right? Yeah, I think next week would be a good time to yeah. do it. And 
And I think, you know, once we get all this figured out, we really would appreciate some input. And a lot of you people out there might be suffering from the same situation. And uh, you're not alone. No, <laughs> no. We know of three people that had the same thing, and I'm sure there's more. And there's nothing wrong with you. No. I mean, just look at us. We're normal as can We're be. normal. We're the masters of hashtag normality. Truth. Truth, right. So right. truth master. Right, truth. Yeah. We got so, all kinds of talents. We got talents, and we got some talents that we would rather not talk about, and uh, <laughs> we just leave that at that. <laughs> Whatever that means. I, I don't know. I think I'm having an experience right now. Is this real life? Yeah. Am I hearing Ooh, George talk? Gosh. <laughs> it is a little warm in here. That could be part of it, too. Is it warm? It is a little warm. Well, it's always warm, okay? <laughs> No alcohol. I've had nothing but lemonade tonight. Uh, you think but they can hear that? 34B. Hey, do you think they can hear no, that? 34B can, can be noisy. 34B is is got you know a heater that really blasts us in here. But uh, I like being warm in the wintertime, everyone. Especially when you're looking at those mountains over there. Folks, if you could just see what we're looking at right now. The sun's about down now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you could be in 34B, you would be in heaven. Yeah. It's like Gatlinburg in heaven. It's hard not to look at it, actually. I mean, we need to look at the camera. We need to look at our folks. But it's hard not to look outside. You know where you're looking, right? Right on this side, right? What side? Left side. I'll look right in the middle. You can do that, too. Okay. But I think left side, they feel like you're really talking to them. I never look on the left side. I mean, the right side. Always look on the middle. Look in the middle or a little on the left side. That's what I do. Mainly left. Yeah. But well, you're left. I don't mean politically. But no. You're left on the camera. No, not politically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> George, um, you know, I think we should kind of tell them that who that haven't listened to our podcast, kind of what we talk about, which is literally anything. <laughs> it's anything and everything. It's really stuff that a uh, little bit of everything that. A lot of people think about but they never discuss they never talk that much about but it's just fun stuff and it's like like I always tell Josh you know it's like the old days where you sit down on the front porch and you got neighbors walking by saying hey Sally hey Jeff what's going on Henrietta hey, how's Peggy Bobby Sue and it's it's, it's how's that mole on her lip yeah it's yeah. it's like That's you tough. know you just then sipping they stop tea, George sipping a little tea a little sweet tea you, they stop they talk and you know it might be seven o'clock at night you talk for a hot summer night talk for two hours and all of a sudden they've gone like 30 feet from their house and all you all you know they plan on making a walk around the block or a couple blocks but all of a sudden you talk to them for two hours and they just go right back to their house because it's dark it's dark but that's 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 why people walk a lot now they don't do that so much anymore no they don't have these big porches like, uh, well, a lot of places don't have the big porches like they used to have either. You know, now the big porches are in the back. Yeah. Usually a patio or uh, some type of. But it's hard bed. to see people, you know, they don't walk. There's no sidewalk in the back. That's what I mean. It's like they, right. over time they moved the big they moved front them. porches and the back right. porch. So. Yeah, we had this big old, uh, not it wasn't a wrap around porch, but it was, a very, it was the largest porch in the neighborhood. And. We would have kids would come over to our house to play when it was raining. None of the mothers would let them inside because they didn't. None of the moms in the neighborhood wanted wanted these kids inside their house. Yeah. So they'd come over to our house and we'd all play on that front porch because it was so big. And but they just don't. You know, it's very rare you see those anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I remember going. At my grandparents had a. Big but this is what we do. And, we just sit, uh, I used to swing real fast, real fast, and, and I get in trouble one time. I got a whipping by, for swinging too fast. And all of a sudden, all that. Just my brother fell hey, off. Hey, Henrietta. His head. What's going yeah. on, Sue? What's going on, Bobby Head? Bobblehead? Bobby Head. One guy in the neighborhood called Bobby Head. But he had Not Bobblehead. Did he have a big head, though? No, his name was, his last name was Head. It was Bobby Head. Hey, so, I know a guy last name Head. We called him Bushy Head. Bushy Head. <laughs> He was just different. Nice guy. Phil, yeah. nice I knew guy. A, there was a, a, a TV and appliance dealership in, uh, I think it was mainly TV and electronics dealership in Evansville called Heads TV. Heads TV. I can't remember the owner's name, though. 
but uh, real nice guy. I'm sure he's gone now. But... Oh, Biggie? Huh? Biggie? Big head? No, he didn't have it. Well, kind of. <laughs> he was, he was kind of <laughs> small, stature, and they, uh, yeah, he drank a lot. But uh, yeah. anyway, we go to different, you know, shows and so forth where they show, you know, distributors show off their appliances and dealers come to it. And he was always uh, pretty well lit up. George, I think we need to do another taste test. Yes. We I'd should love do, to that. do that. Nasty Let's stuff. Let's do that. What about those, uh, those jelly beans? I think we should do that. I don't like jelly beans. I know, but I think we should do it for the people. What about jelly beans? You know, you, you spin the thing, and it tells you what color. Now, say it's white. Yeah. Color might be spoiled milk. I mean, flavor might be spoiled oh, milk. God. Or it might be coconut. Or green. It could be booger. Or it could be oh, but what? what? It could be a green apple. Yeah. Who's going to do that? We are. No, I'm not yes, going to eat we're, a booger. We're, I ain't no, no booger. It's not a real booger. Well, what is it? It's a booger flavored, and I don't know how they get the flavor. They must eat some boogers. Ah. Somebody ate boogers. Oh, George! What? You have to ask Kelsey about this. Yesterday, we were sitting at a stoplight, and we look over, and she's like, look at that woman. She's picking her nose like crazy. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, wow, she's going to town. And no sooner that I said that, she pulled it out and put it right in her mouth. Oh! And started chewing it. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> she, was, she was chewing it. She was chewing it, George. <laughs> Don't. That is disgusting. Just, that is absolutely so, disgusting. Oh my yeah. gosh. And why was, would anybody do that? I don't uh, Well, she didn't. I mean, she was, salt she, pepper in her car to put on it. She, oh she was a grown. Gosh. She was probably in her forties. Oh, eating gosh. boogers still. That is absolutely disgusting. I never. Oh. Gosh. I never ate a booger. Oh it. my In school. gosh, that makes me sick thinking about it. I know. Okay, let's move on. No more of that. But yeah, we won't. No, eat... we're not going to eat boogers. No, no, we won't eat real God. boogers. No, we won't. <laughs> we won't. I don't even want to talk about that. But we are going to play that game because there's some good ones. Oh. It's called, uh... oh, I forget the name of it. But we'll find it. Also, George, we keep getting a request from the same guy. I get every video I post, not every, okay, I won't say every video, but probably three or four videos, the same guy has kept wanting us to do a duct tape challenge. You remember when we did the duct tape with the yeah, bell? right. This guy, he, he commented on this time, and I don't remember the guy's name, but I keep telling him, okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. But then he, he tells me, you know, about the duct tape. He wants us to, like, duct tape each other to a chair, I guess, and the other one tries to get, he try to get out. Okay. So... That might be a, a good idea. I told him we would do it. Um, we just been busy with our podcast, man. So, what is the uh, purpose of that? You know, it's a challenge, like we did to, get, to, to talk. get out, to get out of it. Yes. Okay. There's a problem. I'm claustrophobic, though. So I really got to think about this thing before we do it. Yeah. But we'll eventually get to it, man. I I know we. I've told you we we would. So we're gonna get there. Have you ever driven on a bridge and you got two? A car on each side of you as you're going across the bridge. To this? Well, you said claustrophobic. Yes. And you feel like the, you're kind of boxed in there. You get kind of funny feeling. I, a little claustrophobic. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. No. Okay. Now, Kelsey. Because she, there's no exit strategy there. No. Because if one bull, you're at a bridge. If one moves I over, <laughs> you have nowhere to go. I don't get claustrophobic really. I just get a little worried. Yeah, this could be a bad deal. Well, I get a little worried too, but it seemed like lately, as I gotten older, I've got a little claustrophobic of that kind of thing. Yeah, like, like we were down on I sixty five. I was on I sixty five going toward town, and all of a sudden, you know, you got five lanes, and all of a sudden, boom, they stop. And you know, so people are going seventy miles an hour up until then, they stop. Yeah, I get a little claustrophobic there because I think somebody's going to... So I got all these cars around me. I, I'm boxed in. I can't get out. And I'm afraid somebody's going to smash cars behind us, not, you know, text, and not see the cars in front that have stopped. Oh, I worry about slam that. into it. I, I, that happens. Every, if, even at a stoplight, I always look in my mirror to see if they're texting because you yes. got to worry about that. These, oh, days. these people are stupid. They are very but, stupid. You know what, though? I will panic a little bit. Down by Bowling Green on 65, they got those concrete lanes. Oh, doing, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's like two cattle just shoots, just, and it's all concrete. 
and it's 65 or 70 through there yeah and all it takes is some somebody in front of you to, to slam on their brakes mm -hmm. and you you're probably gonna be toast that's been going on construction on 65 round bowling green for about 20 years <laughs> that's a dangerous little they stretch never there. finish <laughs> A lot of people's died on that. Well, yeah, that's that's you know my uh, daughter briefly considered going to WKU there, Bowling Green, and I, I we just said no. That that highway is just too dangerous. We don't want you going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, too yeah. dangerous. Too dangerous, especially for teenagers. Yeah, with not a lot of driving experience. Exactly. Well, George. Yes. That's fun. It feels like the old days. Oh. We started out doing YouTube. Hey. You know, I was counting. I think we've done 34. This will probably be 35. You no, think? this is close to 40. If you don't count. Cause Videos? I, yes. Really? That many? Yeah. Because wow. I, I do post some of our uh, episodes. Yeah. Well, I was going to do every episode up from the podcast. Just the audio. And then I decided, you know what? I'm not going to do every one. Right. A, because it takes a long time to transfer it over, download, all that. And I got to edit to make a video just to put on YouTube. Right. B... I wanted people to kind of go back and forth, but you kind of tie them together, kind of like we're doing right now. Yeah. So yeah, that that's sense. why you guys, if you don't see every episode on our channel, it's because I want you to go over to our podcast and check it out. Right. And I do want to post some uh, more videos. Another area that I get yeah. a little claustrophobic is about is when, you know, you got those <laughs> high roads that come out like that, the lanes that just go up, like way up in the air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we had that happen uh, last year, and, and I stopped and I got out of the car I said Teresa you take over you done that, that happens I just I was done had and this could hurt if it fell on your foot or something but don't drop it on your foot or if you hit somebody in the head but don't do that like either. if a burglar came in and you this shouldn't even last hold resort. It if you have those kind of feelings <laughs> well, hey let me ask you this what? have you ever had a feeling now this again I'm, you know I'm a little crazy yeah. But years ago, I would uh, take my uh, rifle out to the uh, uh, farm. My dad had a farm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd shoot at different things, anything that moved. And it was, it was typically I had my 22 rifle. And sometimes I would just look down at my foot and wonder, man, I wonder how it would feel oh. if I just shot my foot. Yeah. What is that? I don't know, because it ain't going to kill you unless you hit probably a... Is there an artery or something in your foot? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I it's think just going to hurt like... Ridiculous. But what craziness is that? That is crazy. It goes along with driving on a two-lane road, and you're like, if I just swerved over and hit this car head on, what would that feel like? No, I see. I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have that. You've That's never, like, I don't have. a semi flying towards you opposite way, and you're like, I could just swerve over right now and ram them. No. <laughs> no. I'd be much, much safer shooting my foot off. <laughs> But isn't that weird? It is weird. That is just so stupid. I, I just don't understand. I don't have those feelings we, anymore, thank goodness. Well, so I, and I never shot my foot. Yeah. But boy, who knows? I might then have Then you wouldn't close. be able to do the shuffle. The George shuffle. George shuffle. Now, George has a shuffle and just doesn't speak. Yeah, yeah. What they call me? Shuffling George. Yep. <laughs> and that little name there for 25 years. What they call me? I can't get rid of it. White light. White light. Woo! If you need your vacuum, your floor vacuum fast, just call me. I'll well, charge like by the hour. By yeah. It takes need, me a long time. You need to watch a shuffle. hundred dollars an hour. Call me. You need dancing and vacuuming? We're a duo. Hit us up. Yeah. We'll come do a birthday, bar mitzvahs, all that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I think that uh, we have a lot of problems. We do. And, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, we but I think a lot of people share these problems, and it's good to talk about it, folks. It's good to talk about it. And we're unashamed Tell to, to bring it out. No, Something we're not ashamed. We ain't ashamed. No. It's all about the... We're all married guys, you know. Our wives other, are stuck with us, so... Married to women. Yeah, married to women. <laughs> and we're, we like being married to women. And yeah. we want to continue to be married to women. Yeah. And that's why we have to be good sometimes. What do you mean? Well, you know, just, just behave. You know, behave ourselves and well, not shoot our feet off or anything. Yeah, they don't want to. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I got some deja vu going on right now. That's right. Yeah. Well, George, I think uh, we're gonna post part two of this. Okay. To get more into this whole experience. Yes. 
and uh, we got some research to do. So next week we're going to drop that episode in our podcast. Right? That sounds great. And this will be uploaded tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have do a lot of research on next week's podcast. We do. And uh, guys, give us some ideas. I know that guy that does, gives the idea about the duct tape and all that's one thing, but give us some ideas that we can do for uh, future videos. Right? Yeah, I think it'd be important. So uh, nothing too crazy. No pain. We don't. I'm no, not getting electrocuted. We're, we, we, we're 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 crazy, but we're not stupid. We don't like to be. We don't like pain. Okay? Not a big pain guy. No, we don't like pain. But we'll do some uh, some some stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll think of some stuff. But you can got I, can I ever tell you that one time, Josh, that what? I played football and I got knocked back ten yards back by a girl named Shirley? No, no. by a huge guy, and it was actually football practice. Yeah, and I got up. And I walked off the field. I said, I'm, "This is this is painful. I'm I'm out of here." Dude, so we don't gone. like pain. No, you don't like pain. No. I've had enough pain, and I don't want any more. That's right. So, oh, also, we're going to try to do this every every month. I think do a special video podcast video every month. Yeah, don't you think? I mean, yes, I think it'd and then be really also nice. mix in some other videos. Some yeah, videos. yeah. So we're just, we're going to get back in our routine. Yeah. So, it's gonna uh, happen. That's right. It's just been a busy, busy time, and, yeah. and uh, but uh, we're gonna get right back into it. And George is and gonna eat a follow. worm spaghetti. Is it is one of the challenges? It's like spaghetti, but earthworm. Yeah, marinara sauce. Right. You're gonna do right. that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. We haven't decided on what we're gonna do yet, but it's gonna be a little different than your usual stuff. You got a time check, George? Yeah. What's the time? The time right now is 7.50. All right. Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to make like a baby and head out this mother. Yep. And I'm Josh. And I'm George. Till next time, folks, we are shooting out. the breeze. And we're out. And we're out.